You know what's really annoying? When you're just about to head off to bed, and then you realize that you don't have part 27 of Super Mario RPG recorded for tomorrow. So, you realize that now you're going to have to stay up a lot later than you expected, just recording, and rendering, and editing, and whatever else, to the video. Oh well, no sense complaining about it. Plus, I enjoy playing the game anyways, so... Uh, yeah, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, um... Before we move on with what we're going to do in the story... Oh, by the way, I'm Argon Matrix, in case you're new here. I make Let's Plays. I'm going to give you a full introduction right now. This could take a good half hour or so. Alright, let's get started. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, before I get started, I noticed uh, off-screen that I was a little bit low on health from Star Hill, because the stupid pulsars gave me a migraine, both in real life and in the game. So, I'm going to take this opportunity to use the sweet for the first time. And like I said, um, if you use you can use the sweet multiple times, and each time you get a different kind of reward for using it. Yes, yeah, see, this is the gift you we promised you upon selection of the sweet. Gimme the flower tap. Okay, um, get rid of the mushroom for that because mushrooms are virtually useless. What mushrooms useless in Mario? Oh my gosh, the apocalypse is near. Uh, okay, so the bellhops take me to my room. I can make myself at home. Okay, I'm gonna go do stuff in the bathroom. You know, in the bath. Okay, no. Ah, uh, and yep. Yeah. Turn off the lights when I go to sleep. Ring the bell for service. Looks like he wants a tip. Oh my goodness! All these. Are you a little orphan child? Like, what? Gosh. Okay. Well, I gave him a tip anyways. Um, you can ring the bell for service if you want. I don't feel the need to show that off, even though, it make, even though it makes a cool little ding 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 sound. But we'll just go ahead and head off to bed. Good night. And we should be fully healed. Why can't I hear birds in my suite? I don't like birds. Bah humbug. Okay. So that's like staying in the suite and I'll probably stay there, stay there later on too for the other rewards. Alright. Now that I'm done with that, um, Time to actually move on with stuff, because we've pretty much accomplished nothing in this episode other than, like, getting a flower tab, which I should use as soon as I get the chance. Okay, um, one more thing that I want to do, and I'm sure there's plenty of other things I could do before moving on with the story, but, um, there's only one thing that I can think of right now. You're probably going to tell me in the comments, oh my gosh, you're, oh, this isn't the right place. Yeah, that's, those are the words that you're gonna type in the phone. You're like, this isn't the right place. I'm watching the wrong video. Gosh. I wanted to watch, like, something else. No one's coming to the top of my head right now. Oh, well. Might be better that way. Okay, so, um, now, after you've completed Star Hill, this is the time that you want to give this guy this his wallet back. Alright. No way, Jose. Oh, no. Okay, alright. Quit whining, you douchebag. Thank you so much. Here, I'll give you this as a reward. Go on, take it. And you get a flower tab. Um, bef if you... Okay, um, I need to toss something now. Ugh, I should toss the flower tab. Can I toss the wa What? You can toss the wallet? What? Um, okay. I'll toss the wallet. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, I get that makes no sense at all. He basically just gave me a free flower tab, but... Yeah, if you return it before Star Hill, then I think you get a frog coin instead. But I've also heard that if you return it before Star Hill, you can get a frog coin and then come back after Star Hill and get the flower tab. So, I don't know, maybe I just did the lesser of two options, or three options, or whatever. Anyways, that's pretty much all I needed to do for now. So, I'm going to head off to Star Hill, which I'm past now, so... Moving to Seaside Town. That sounds like a jolly old place. Oh, this music. I love this music. Anyways, uh, this looks like a, just a common standard town. There's just nothing out of place at all, really. Uh, just, I don't... <laughs> honestly, I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing right now, so... I probably should look that up or something. You know, what am I supposed to be doing right now? Okay. Finally! It took you long enough. I'm the elder of this village. I got my exalted station in life by pleasing my superiors pleasing my superiors, which is something I do well. A star has fallen in the ocean. I need it for a certain purpose. You must find it for me. Um, 
Okay. You're looking kind of grayish green there, buddy. Is everything okay? And you're kind of just... You look like you really need to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Anyways, uh... Yeah, so he says a star fell in the ocean, so that looks that sounds like our next star piece location. Hello there, you're Mario, right? Do you remember me? We met at Tadpole Pond when I was still a tadpole. What? How can one of those tadpoles grow to this thing in, like, just, ah, whatever. Nintendo logic, as always. I've graduated from Frog Fisher's school, and now I'm searching for a meaning of life. The meaning of life? Really? You're gonna be here a while, buddy. It's been so quiet around here, it's almost eerie. Is something going on? It probably doesn't concern me, but if you have any frog coins, I got some neat items to sell. Yes, okay, this is the first place, or actually maybe second place, that you can spend your frog coins at. I have uh, 23 right now, okay. So I have some interesting items here. It's the Sia allows to run you to run away from enemy battles. Earlier times, this one I actually want to pick up, because um, it can be quite convenient at times. See, it, you use it to start battles over. Yeah, that's a clever name for that, isn't it? Earlier times. So clever. But yeah, I've found that in previous playthroughs, this was actually really useful when I bought it, so I'm going to buy that. Um, now I only have 8 frog coins. Wow. The EXP booster, it doubles XP when equipped. Even if you're not in battle, then you still get double the XP. And I don't have enough money for that. I'll pro I might buy that later. Doubles the coins if you want to battle. I don't feel the need for that. And cuts the FP use in half during the battle. And that's 50 frog coins, which is hella expensive, but you can obviously see why, because it's very useful. Alright, yeah, the earlier times thing, it also doesn't run out, by the way. So you can just use it whenever you need to. Okay, um, there's some shops around here. Let's see. Stars falling into the sea. The pirate, probably. What? I mean, that man, uh... Jonathan Jones probably has it. He's nasty. Oh, so nasty. I'm talking so monotone like them now. I'm a freak of nature. Oh no, my skin's turning green. Why do they keep rushing over to each other? I don't know. This is probably getting really annoying for you. Should I stop it? Maybe I should stop it. Or maybe you enjoy it. Maybe you enjoy my strange antics. These guys look like they're having a fun time. He's just a customer. This guy, he, he wants, he's gonna sell me supplies. It's the bad mushroom, the muku muki, the fright calm, the firebomb, the ice bomb. Bombs are lovely. Why should I go boom? Okay, I'm gonna stop with that now. Oh, that was even annoying for me. Muku 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 muka? Uh huh. Price 69 coins. Um, I don't think you really need to buy that at all. Yeah, these ones, they're kind of useful in some in instances, but I've never felt the need to buy any of them, so. Don't worry about that. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm not going to start talking about it like that again. Don't worry. Okay, and over here, there is... You may not enter here. This is a restricted area. Oh, yeah? Well, okay. The door's locked. Well, if the door's locked, then why are they standing there? Doesn't make sense. Um, I think that's pretty much all I need to show off in Seaside Town. Let's just head off through here. Wait a minute. Just he Wait. Um anything here I thought this is the way you had to go I know what this I know what happens in this place later but that's spoilers so I won't tell you because you'll probably just see in a few episodes anyways okay but just going through that passage there may remind me of something um unless this is I think I'm being a complete idiot right now but did didn't we like not go through here what? Oh, that's just an alternate exit? Well, fine then. That's just like a big middle finger in my face. Oh, look, that sea. Let's go see the sea. See? You see? Whoa, okay. Um, that was a very lovely entrance into the sea. Doesn't really look like I'm in the sea at all, actually. Okay, um, there's some weird hooded figure here. Been a while since people came around here. This, this guy reminds me of, like, the black mages from Final Fantasy and stuff. But he sells some interesting looking things. Um, he has the hurley gloves, the super hammer, the handgun, the womp glove, the, um, wait, let's see, hurley gloves for Bowser, yeah, the womp glove, and looks like no weapons for Peach. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, actually, I already know that the sailor stuff here, the sailor shirt, sailor pants, sailor cape, and nautica dress, <laughs> never mind. 
Okay, I, I already know that all these are better than the work pants, so I'm gonna stock up on these right now. But I don't know about these weapons, so, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and check that really quick off screen. Uh, yeah. Okay, guys, I looked at everything, and, um, Mario's Masher is still better than the Super Hammer. Uh, Gino and Mal already have the handgun and womp clove, but Bowser has the chomp still, and the hurly gloves are apparently better, so, uh, whoa. I just bought two of those, I think, now. Um, my bad. Okay, I'm gonna sell, sell one of those, I guess, uh. Okay, Hurley Gloves. Who needs two? Unless Mallow wants one. He, he seems to wear gloves a lot. Alright, so, work pants for Sailor Shirt. Yeah, see, that raises the def- wait, that raises the defense. But it lowers the attacks. Uh, was I wrong about the Sailor Pant? Or about the Sailor stuff? Well, I'm pretty sure the Nautica dress is at least better, yeah. Okay, looks like I was completely wrong on this, guys. Um, I think, I think I'd rather have the- attack than the defense, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell the polka dress, the sailor stuff, and that's it. And now equip Bowser down here with the Hurley gloves. Cool stuff. And sell it the Chomp. Sorry Chompy, I know you you were free but from Booster's Towers, but that doesn't stop you from being sold. Okay, the ship the ship sank into the briny sea because a giant squid attacked it. Some people went to survey it, but they never came back. Well, that's eerie. Hmm. Giant squid attack. That's always how I imagined one, like, a ship to go down. Just, like, some giant thing attacking it. Okay, that's what's that way. There's a bunch of starfish over there. And over here, there's a save block. So, I'm gonna go ahead and save. I mean, why not? Um, yes, I want to save. Thank you. In the sea. That's just, like, a... Ri just such a... I don't know, gener generic... En the generic area name, the sea. Like, not even, like, normally it's like some kind of sea, just like a name and then a sea. But no, here it's just the sea. Okay, here's the star, so, yeah, that's why I dropped down there. So that I could just get all these guys right quick. Yay! Okay, no levels up, though. Sadly. Oh, wait, got up. Yes, level up. Sweet. Bowser. Bowser reached level 11. Um, what do you start at? Did he start at like seven? No, I think he started at eight. Whatever. Okay, uh, nine, ten. I'll just go. There we go. Whatever. Had to decide on something. Alright, uh, you could just like sneak past all these guys, but just for the sake of showing them, I'll have to fight them. Have to fight them at some point, and now we're suddenly underwater. What? Zeo Star. <laughs> yeah, these are, these are obviously just an upgraded version of the Star Slap, but. Not very much upgraded since we can just take them out in one hit, apparently. Well, that's a disappointment. Yeah. I remember this area vividly from when I was a kid. I don't know why. Just something about this area stuck with me in my memory. And I like it. A blooper! A blooper? What's the point of changing just one, one letter in there? <sighs> Never mind. Blooper. I can't even believe that. What? Oh, it just ran away. Okay. I think you pretty much have to beat the blue the bloobers in one hit, otherwise they're gonna run away. Yeah. Okay, um Okay, this guy gets to attack by dancing or recover by dancing. Fine. Oh he what ah Hate that when enemies get to go twice. It's just not fair. Harumph. Yeah. Bloober. Like I understand what like I don't know why it's called blooper either, because that's like basically just like the same name as an outtake but whatever it's not up to me okay um so what's over here okay this looks like the exit of the cave the exit of the sea is the entrance to the sea sea for you and me okay so somehow we can magically walk underwater that's great I'd rather walk on water personally but all right, what is inside this chest? It's so t it's so just awesome looking. It's just like alone up here. It's like, what's up? I'm a chest. I'm hanging out here all by myself. Yeah, I'm too cool for the rest of you. What you looking at? But we'll we'll open it next time in Super Mario RPG. Thanks everyone for watching. Until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.
Actually, on second thought, I'm going to hit it really quick and get the max mushroom because that's really kind of pointless item. But, and now I'm going to go save just because I don't want to keep on recording. I don't want to make this full. Oh, God damn it. I have to fight this thing now. But I don't want to make this a full recording session because I have to go to bed now. Hopefully, I did this commentary fast enough. And thank you everyone for watching. Until next time, this is RMH signing out. Thank you and good night. Sorry for the abrupt ending and the crappy commentary. I'm tired right now. Okay.